a simple little thank you note might seem like just a small little way to show recognition and appreciation for individuals in our workplace, right? So handwriting a thank you note might seem like it's such a small little thing, but it can really, really have a big impact and mean a lot to people. And I've really gotten addicted over the years for, you know, well over 10, 10 years, probably closer to 20 years now as a leader, I was introduced to this idea of writing handwritten thank you notes, simple little notes as a way to show recognition and appreciation for our staff. Over the years, what started to happen, and I realized this, is I started to get feedback. Like I called it, thank you for the thank you notes. So I could write a whole book about this whole thing about thank you for the thank you notes, where in response to a simple little note that I penned with sincerity um, and with desire to truly relay my appreciation and thankfulness is that in response to that, I would hear the story of the impact that this thank you note made on the recipient. And here's one of those stories. I'll give you an example. So when I was a chief operating officer at a hospital, we were going through a huge expansion. Like in a short period of time, we were going through a lot of expansion and growth, which is really exciting and fun. But, you know, once in a while, you know, that can cause some stress and, and some missteps along the way. And that's exactly what happened in this project that we were doing in expanding our imaging radiology suite area, adding a whole bunch of new technology and services and upgrading it. And what happened was we were in the phase of the project where we were dismantling our mammography equipment and we were bringing in new digital mammography equipment. And we had some construction to do to expand the space and retrofit the space for the new technology. And anyway, what happened was that the equipment arrived, the installers were gonna arrive a bit later, the room had to be ready to specs um, so that the installers could, could get this equipment up and running. And so what happened, this little misstep that happened was that when the installers arrived, the room was not ready. So the installers were like, we're going to have to move on and, and go to the next place to install and we'll put you back in the queue and it's going to be three months before we can come back and install this equipment. Well, we had already disinstalled, you know, deinstalled the old equipment. So right, that would mean that for three months we were, you know, without mammography services for our community. And so we kind of begged the vendor, you know, we said, if we can get the room ready in 24 hours, can your installers stay and we'll, you know, get the room ready. We'll, you know, call all hands on deck. We'll get the room ready if your installers can stay for 24 hours to, to give us that time to get it ready. And they did, you know, thankfully. So our plant ops and project guy, he got right on it with his team and they called some external people and contractors in to help. And, and for the next 24 hours, you know, they had people going around the clock uh, getting this room ready. And indeed they met the deadline and the equipment was able to be installed. And so I asked project director, I said, you know, give me the names of all of our staff that, that participated in this effort to make sure that this happened. And he um, gave me the names of all of the people that, that worked around the clock to, to make this happen. And I penned each of them a thank you note. In a thank you note, it's not just, you know, thank you for giving up your time that, and your plans to, to help with this project. It was really about thank you for saving the lives of our community members, right? Because what they did allowed our community members to have access to technology that, that could detect, you know, potentially a life-threatening condition in our people in our community. And that's what they really did, right? They didn't just work on electricity and, and, and walls and stuff like that. They worked on saving lives. And that's what I penned in this note is thanks for coming in and making this happen, for saving lives in our community. I penned these notes and about two weeks later, I was walking down the hallway of the hospital late one afternoon and this young gentleman came up to me and he said, are you Sue? And I said, yeah, I am. And he goes, I've only met you once at orientation. I'm a pretty new employee. And he said, I got your thank you note. I said, oh, you must have been on the mammography project. And so in person, one-on-one, face-to-face, -on -one, -face, the most powerful conversation, I thanked him again in person for giving up his time and plans and to, to bring this life-saving technology to our community without that three-month delay. And he stopped me. He goes, I have to tell you what that thank you note meant to me. 
And he said, you don't know me very well. In fact, this is only the second time you've ever seen me. He said, but I'm going through a horrible divorce. And, and in this situation, I'm leaving a wife who for so long has told me that I'm a piece of shit. And she's been telling me this for so long that I was starting to believe it. But then I got your thank you note and I read it and I read it and I realized a piece of shit wouldn't show up and work around the clock to save lives in this community, right? So I'm not a piece of shit. He said, and your thank you note reminded me of that. In fact, it's on the visor. It's in the visor, tucked in the visor of my car. And I have this new habit since I got your note. And each time before I go anywhere, before I go to work, before I go to bowling league, before I go to the grocery store, before I go to the gas station, anywhere I go, before I turn on my car, I pull out that note and I read it. And then I do this silly thing. I look in my rear view mirror and I look at myself eye to eye and I say, I am not a piece of shit. Thank you for the thank you note. Now I have story after story like that of thank you for the thank you note, where this little note that I penned with great sincerity and great appreciation for the person on the other end of that, that that made such a difference in their lives. Now, maybe not every thank you note had that much power impact. The other thing is, is that even if, even if we had not met in the hall that day, and even if he never would have told me that story, guess what? it still would have had that impact. So I know that many of the thank you notes that I have sent over the years had an impact similar to that and the lives of the recipient. I just don't know it because I didn't get the opportunity to know the rest of the story. But I know out there, there's more stories like that. I'm so glad for the stories like that one where it reinforces to me that it's really worth it, right? that it's really a great practice that we can get into is to show another human being our sincere appreciation and to pen that in a note and send it to them. And it always seems to arrive, or a lot of the times, it seems to arrive at just the right moment with right, just the right message that somebody needed to hear. So if you haven't started the habit of writing thank you notes, I encourage you to do so and collect your own stories of thank you for the thank you note. 